drive you back to Adler. You've done enough. I'd like bringing you to an animal doctor for a checkup, right? Wow. You're really taking this vet thing hard, huh? Well, I just... I don't like that the first thing I did for you was moronic. The first thing? What, you plan on doing more? Yeah, if you let me. I cut all the best parts. You're just gonna have to tune in to see the love scene. <laughs> <laughs> I love how awkward you go with it. Tune in to watch the love I was scene. I gonna say sex scene, but Warren it's Christie time. is there. Uh, of course, he is one of the stars of Happy Town. Great show on <laughs> ABC. He plays Aiden Greggy Stivaletto. Oh, those Stivalettos. <laughs> how are you, man? Yeah, I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you guys doing? Good. So, um, we, we stopped the clip right before you hit the motel mm -hmm. and hit the bed pretty hard. Uh, yeah. Mike wants to know, do you guys choreograph the love scenes, and how do you do that? Uh, to, to an extent, you kind of do. This one in particular, quite a bit. Right. Like the director was a very, very nice guy, but we showed up. You know, you show up ready to do whatever. I'm ready to make love. <laughs> you, know, you, got your little, you got your little stuff covering your stuff, and everything's good. And then, yeah. But he was... Like he wanted anything. point by point, like off to the side, kind of really? yelling. Yeah, he was very, very. See, I was curious whether there was a conversation between you and, and the person that you're doing the scene with, like, you know, I'm gonna put my arm around you and you know we'll go backwards or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know? we we actually we had a few drinks. Oh, oh did you? Yeah. We literally just met. Why not? You know, a couple days before that, and yeah, we're both there in our pasties. And, <laughs> so what do they make you wear? Is it the little nude underwear things? Yeah, but they they. They do, and then they, but they cut and they start taping and gluing things in place because How sometimes awkward. they want a hip, and she's got little things. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've never really thought. I mean, it, it seems fairly obvious that you know there's going to be pasties on the girl, but I never thought of it. The guy, I just assumed you'd wear underwear and they would shoot around it or. Usually, or something. Yeah, yeah. But this, this, they want a specific like you want, uh, up your hip, and but then there's no movement allowed from well, here to here. Well, if I can say that is your best angle. <laughs> you know, just up that hip I shot. Just, I request that. I'm like, right up there. That's, <laughs> just right here. If you're gonna that's get any sell. angle, get it. That's gonna get, get it right okay, there, baby. Okay, we should probably talk about Happy Town. Okay. Um, <laughs> now that Great we've made it, it's, it's, we made it sound like a sex show, but it's, uh, it's so not. No. Uh, tell us what goes on in Happy Town. Uh, oh man, it's such a tough thing because there's a lot going on. Um, too much, some would say. Um, it's about a small town in Minnesota. Uh, there was a bunch of abductions over a span of five or six years, and then it just stopped for five years. And it went down to, back to this perfect little town, and then suddenly it starts up again. And they called him the magic man because people would disappear in the middle of crowds, and nobody had any idea. No one ever found anything, no clues. So the town nicknamed him Magic Man stopped. Flash forward to now, and it's kind of started up again. Well, and it's never that. Uh you know, obviously, there's that detective story in it, or that, or that yeah. murder mystery in it. But what's fascinating with, with this show is how it affects everybody. You know, I mean, the magic man doesn't have to affect a person individually for it to have repercussions in their life, and especially in a small town like that. Yeah, and that's what it really is about. Once he comes back, uh, you know, that's trying to figure out who that is. But it's the ripple effect of it has everyone. And then we start yeah. to find out this person isn't who they said they were, this person isn't who they yeah. said they were, and how it all intertwines. Some wicked like characters in this one. Some really mean. weird things. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the, uh, the Stivalettos. So when we first tune in, there's a group of four brothers who live on a goat farm. They're very, <laughs> very, very... Oh, those, those guys. <laughs> those Classic, on the goat farm, classic. And uh, they're just as redneck as you can get, and, you know, they're cause of a lot of problems, people think, and stuff like that. And we first meet my character, he shows up, and... At the end of episode three, we find out that I'm the oldest of the brothers. I don't look much like them. I don't act much yeah, like them. Yeah, you're a little bit... I'm trying to distance myself from Yeah, you know the I mean? apple fell far from the <laughs> yeah, stiletto yeah. tree with your yeah. character. Lucky for you. But they're, they're a trip. They were four guys um, from Toronto, Toronto actors that were just great, hilarious, had a blast yeah. working together, and they were just... They, that's, they were crazy. Yeah. Now, you were kind of wincing when we were showing the clip. Do you have a tough time watching yourself on TV? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, just, be sure to tune in later tonight and watch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tons of fun. It's just a weird thing. It's like I love what I do and I love working with people and trying to figure things out and stuff but like that. But you're so outside of that when you're actually on set from what we yeah, see. Yeah, and then when you see it, I, to be honest with you, I'm usually pretty disappointed when no. I see myself. Yeah, because really? I'm having such a good time. I really like, thought yeah. that angle was going to catch you. Yeah, I was never with that. Never disappointed <laughs> with that. Just performing. That's always like that. good. That's yeah. golden.
But but I, I think it's one of those things, you know, there's always this assumption that, that people that, that do what you do or, or maybe even do what we do, like you have to have a real sort of self-love and you have to love what you do, but most self people, loathing. but it really oh, yeah. sort of, I find it's a real common thing. Like it's really tough to watch yourself do things. Yeah, it, it's just, it's kind of terrible. And like I said, truthfully, I, I just, I'm usually disappointed, but like I was saying before, so I could be watching the series finale of Lost and be enjoying, being like, oh my gosh, and just, my fat head rolling and just be like, this shit sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boo! It just takes the credit at it. You know what it's like? It's like the first time that you ever hear your voice recorded. You know when you're a kid and you find a tape recorder and <laughs> yeah. you record your voice and you you're go, like, I don't sound like that. Because in your head, it comes one way yeah. and then, you know, something. And the reality of it just. Yeah, it changes. Okay. And we also have to say congratulations to you. We've seen your wife since she had her wee baby, but yeah. uh, you, she, uh, you have a one-year-old now. Yeah, I just turned cash. one two weeks ago. Congratulations. Cash. How is being a parent? It's it's great. I mean, it's hard. You know, we, we've we always, Sonny and I have always been honest with people. Like, well, you, know, you guys must be doing it wrong, because it's easy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, you go to the park and you meet those people who are always like, it's just gumdrops and rainbows. Oh, and like, no, you're <laughs> crazy. Yeah. No, it's not. I'm tired. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like my life just revolves around poop. <laughs> Even when it's not around, I feel like I smell it all the time. You, you know, know, just, you know the best you're really selling the whole yeah. parenting thing. But, but as your try. kids get older, it doesn't really it doesn't smell change like that much because then it becomes a topic of conversation and it's jokes. And yeah, it's, it's 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 just constantly around. But that being said, it I mean it's phenomenal. Now. When they're one, great. they're pretty darn cute. Yeah. And he's a lot of fun, and he's learning things so quickly now that every day it's a new thing, which is. I mean, obviously, I love the kid, but he, I find him really interesting yeah. at the same time. But he smells yeah, like poop. Fascinating. So. Yeah, if we could just fix that. I spray him down with a lot of Dracar Noir every morning. Oh, God. You take the kid to the night. Yeah. He doesn't have a yeah. chance. I didn't want to give anything too modern, that so baby I went smells Dracar a bit Noir. like a D bag. What's up with that? <laughs> well, you can watch Happy Town. Make sure that you tune in. It is a great show. Uh, Warren, nice to see you. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Before we take off, wait, I wanted to plug there's a walk on June 13th for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Oh, nice. So if people can check it out on the website, real quick, sorry, because I know oh, we gotta no, go. go. For it. Um, we love it's JDRF. Wait, dot, <laughs> boy. Dot CA backslash walk. And if you can't spell walk, you shouldn't be. <laughs> shouldn't be involved. <laughs> Should be involved. Will there be any Drakkar Noir smelling babies at this particular walk? Perhaps. I know there'll be one. <laughs> be, when is it happening again? June 13th. June 13th for juvenile diabetes. Make if you sure can't you make it, a great way to participate is just to make a donation to someone that is participating in the walk as well and raise funds for juvenile diabetes research. Thank you so much. We're going to take man. a quick Thanks, break man. and we'll return. I'm always afraid to say his name because of that one time. Damon Schritter will be joining us to tell us about the comedy. <laughs> Sorry, what, what did you do wrong that one time? <laughs>